Google just released this Gemini 2.0 flash with image generation capabilities and this model is insane. So far I have been using Flux for realistic image generation but this new model by Google is just insanely great. Just have a look at this example. So this is the image of a model that I just added and now I asked it to change pose of this model. So original pose was this and now it changed that pose of this model which is this. So everything is same, the environment is same, the background is same and even like every single thing the cloth that she's wearing is same but i have now managed to change the pose of this model this model is capable of generating a visual story with very highly realistic images so if you just click on this visual story button so it will now start generating this visual story in real time so right now you can see it has now just started generating this story and now it has just created the, this first scene and then this is the second scene this is the third scene so it is generating this like really high quality images for all of these different scenes it is giving a scene description then it is giving like the story outline and then it is generating the images related to that particular scene so let's just have a look at these different stories so this story revolves around this barnaby this is a cute little quote i think look at the images quality all of these images actually look like from a pixar movie so just all of these images look very cute yes. let's just try to create a sequence of images with consistent character and see how it works please create a sequence of images from a war scene the war is a futuristic war happening in 30 25 there is a main hero called jenny please create a consistent character of jenny and then create a sequence of shots where jenny is fighting with various different enemies this should be a cinematic scene quality should be ultra realistic all right so this is just like a basic prompt so let's just give it a basic prompt and then click on this run now it has started creating this jenny character so this is jenny okay perfect it looks like more like a video game by the way so now same jenny same hairstyle now she is fighting with a i don't know something again same jenny fighting with another enemy so now it is actually inventing these kind of enemies i have never seen this kind of like so kind of a drone enemy and he's standing here so this is more like a video game sequence where jenny is fighting with these different enemies but the main thing is jenny's face is consistent i mean the quality is consistent and the facial features are consistent hairstyle is consistent so this is really good for maybe something like storyboarding but yeah i mean this is it's amazing okay so let's suppose if you have an existing image and you want to add any further details on that particular image traditionally you'll be using photoshop and spending hours and hours to make any changing in that particular image but in here using this gemini flash you can actually add any sort of details on on this i can even ask it to expand this image please expand this image and show this in a scene so let's just click on run let's see what it comes of it i did not give it any ideas what sort of scene but okay it have just expanded that image and now it has not shown in a scene so yeah that's fine now let's just test how good it is with human characters so let's suppose if i upload photo of a human model so i have got this human model i'll just ask it to change pose of this human model please change the pose of this model change her shirt design make it purple also change the lighting settings as well let's just test its capabilities press on run and then after that we'll try a virtual try on as well i'll provide it with the shirt simple female shirt design and then ask it to apply that shirt on this model and then see how it works okay so perfect <laughs> so it has just changed the design so you can see this is the same same character same female character but it has just like changed the design overall pants design not the overall shirt design so because she is wearing something else on on top of her shirt so it has just changed the color of like the, the make it made it purple and now it has changed the pose a little bit in here you can see she is uh, she, she has only one hand in her pants and in here you can see she has two, both of her hands in there so yeah this is good enough okay so i have got image of this dress let's just try to apply this dress on that model and see how it goes so i'll simply just upload this dress please apply this dress on this female model press enter and now see how it works i just want to see like accuracy because there are a lot of other AI models that can actually do virtual try-ons okay so now it has implemented this dress on in here on this model but change the hairstyle and i can see there is some change in her facial expressions as well lighting is a bit changed and then i think it's a it's not you can see this model is different maybe just it's just like difference of lighting and difference of hairstyle as well because her hairstyle is different it's more curvy and wavy so this one is 
this these are this is a completely different hairstyle apparently it looks like it's a it's a different female but still it looks very similar but it has applied this dress on this model which is a good thing but it it is not as accurate when it comes to like keeping the same consistent character that's not very accurate just to test consistent characters let's just try to create another cinematic scene create a cinematic scene from an 80s james bond movie this should be a sequence where james bond is chasing a car on the streets of london there should be multiple scenes but we want to have the same consistent james bond character all right so let's just try to run and see how accurate it is this time uh, okay so it has just created one image now please create every single image separately and give brief of each shot this should be a sequence of different shots so now it is going to create 12 individual images so this is the first one this is the second one third one very bad really bad what's that i don't know why it has created this okay so apparently there was something in here then in second image it carried on with that or right, now it has changed the camera angle showing it from the back side but i mean it's, it's not that accurate but uh, it's okay i mean overall you can see the color combination the color correction is uh, similar in all of the images car is similar in all of the images you can see that all of these images are actually from one sequence so yeah so but still uh, in terms of like human characters you can see uh it's a bit blurry from here yeah but i mean it's a proper action sequence so i mean it did not do a good job but it's, it's good enough so to access this new model you can simply just go to this aistudio.google.com and in here you can find this model which is gemini 2.0 flash image generation experimental and this is absolutely free to use you are not required to attach any credit card details or anything you can absolutely free uh, i mean it's, this is a absolutely free to use also you can generate an api key and use it in your projects which is again free to use in your projects but of course with the limitation the api key documentation is also available you can use this documentation from here i might create a separate video about like implementing this in an actual real project but yeah for now i'm just like showcasing what it is capable of so yeah maybe this is a cheaper alternative to flux you can use this model this is quite good when it comes to like image editing using ai adding and removing some objects from an image doing some brainstorming for a storyboard or something but yeah i mean it's it's, it's really cool just give it a try and do let me know what you think about it i see you next video bye, -bye.